What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to SLK ENT News. Click that subscribe button. Thumbs up the fucking video. Leave a comment. Feel free to click one of them donation links in the box. Send your boy a dollar. I got some breaking news for y'all, man. The rap group Ray Shrimmer is officially broken up. Slim Jimmy just announced it on Twitter. And basically on this Twitter rant, he basically was saying, like, listen, I'm not Ray Shrimmer no more. I'm Slim Jimmy by myself. I'm a sink or swim by myself. Fuck Sway Lee, fuck that nigga. And what's crazy about this is these niggas are actually like blood brothers. So it's kind of ironic, like, and not only that, these niggas are on tour right now. Like they literally just had a concert last night together. So the fact that he's announcing that, you know, the rap group is broken up. Uh, obviously they had some type of altercation last night. Um, you know, brothers fight all the time, man. I think, I, I really believe that there's just too much money on the table for this to be true. But, um, you know, back to the tweets, you know, Slim Jimmy was saying in the tweets, you know, I bought my mom a million dollar house by myself. And, you know, I don't know how that makes any sense because, you know, all of the albums that <laughs> Slim Jimmy has ever put out has been with his brother. So how could you say that you bought your mom a million dollar house by yourself? when all of the money that you've made has been with your brother <laughs> you know what i'm saying and um you know he also was saying listen you guys finally got what you wanted you know a while back um joe budden was saying that he thinks that the group is eventually gonna break up and sway lee is eventually gonna become a solo artist because uh sway lee has a lot of hit records with other artists where he's like featured on the song like for example if you look at the song unforgettable or french montana that was like the number one song in the world last year and wait wait was it last year it might have been 2017 i think it was 2017 please forgive me for that but yeah the record unforgettable with french montana and sway lee it was the number one song in the country um it was arguably like the best the best hit song that came out in 2017 and that was strictly because of sway lee and even with all of the hit records from ray shrimmer um sway lee's always on the hook he's always doing some dope shit with the melodies he's always coming up with a catchy hook that makes the song become a hit record and slim jimmy you know he does his thing as well you know he he i think slim jimmy um He's not a bad artist, but the problem is, is he's one dimensional. Like in 2019, like most artists don't just rap. Most of them rap, they sing, you know, they switch it up, you know, uh, and Slim Jimmy is more of a one dimensional artist. Now, you know, he can rap too, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously he's not lyrical. He's not a lyrical artist, but you know, he, he, he always comes up with a catchy, memorable line. Um, on his songs like i know a lot of people think oh slim jimmy is trash i don't agree with that i think slim jimmy is just he does very he does a very good job at staying in his lane like he doesn't try to get out of his lane and do what his brother does he just does him you know he does a good job at being himself and not only that slim jimmy like he's been featured on songs like slim jimmy got a song with um with uh with gucci man that's pretty fire like slim jimmy he can rap, yo. Like, like a lot. Of, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas are sleeping on Slim Jimmy because he doesn't sing. Like, it's kind of weird how in the rap game, like people think if you don't sing or if you don't harmonize melodies, they think that you that you're not good. You know, you look at the you look at the um. It's just crazy, man. Like, like this is crazy. Obviously, um, you know, I don't think anybody really saw this coming. You know, they just put out an album together last year where one side of the album was Sway Lee, the other side of the album was Slim Jimmy, and the album had a ton of hit songs on it. Um, but my thing is this, right? I don't think Slim Jimmy leaving Ray Schremer is hurting Sway Lee. Like, if anything, I think this is helping him because I honestly feel like we haven't seen Sway Lee's full potential as an artist. Um, and I'm not saying that Ray Schremer is holding him back, but I just feel like he probably would be better as a solo artist if we're gonna be honest. Like let's like let's be honest. Like the reason why the Migos are better together is because all of them complement each other. You know what I'm saying? Like all of them. Like okay, we heard Quavo's solo album. A lot of people didn't like it. We heard Takeoff solo album. Um, 
people liked it, but it kind of came and went. Like it came out, and like two days later, nobody was talking about it. And we haven't even seen Offset's album yet. And I believe that's because, you know, because of the bad criticism from the Quavo album and the Takeoff album. I believe that that record label was in no rush to put out an Offset album. I think, you know what, if we're going to have Offset come out with the last album out of all the members in the group, we got to make sure that it's the best. And a lot of people think that Offset is the best in the group. A lot of people think that Takeoff is the best in the group. A lot of people think that Quavo is the best in the group. So it's kind of like a little competition that's going on right now. Like who's going to put out the best album between the Migos? And when you look at this situation with Ray Schremer, we all know who will put out a better album. Like, let's be honest, right? If Sway Lee put out an album by himself and Slim Jimmy put out an album by himself, Sway Lee's gonna have hits. You know why? Because he's already proven that he can make hits without his brother. He already has multiple hit songs without Slim Jimmy on it. Slim Jimmy has no hit records by himself. None of them. You can't name me one song where it's just Slim Jimmy by himself with another artist besides Sway Lee and it's a hit. You can't even name me one. You can't. So I just don't really think that it makes sense that Slim Jimmy is doing this. Maybe like, and that's what I'm saying, like brothers fight all the time. Like something happened last night. I don't know if they got into like a little fist fight or they got into a little altercation, but you know, this group has been under, you know, uh, pressure by the fans to not break up for a long time. And, you know, whenever we hear things like this, it's usually Slim Jimmy. And, you know, maybe maybe Slim Jimmy just feels like he doesn't get as much love as Sway Lee. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he feels like um, maybe he feels like everybody just looks at him as like his brother's sidekick you know what i'm saying like this sounds like a batman and robin type situation you dig what i'm saying like sway lee is batman and and goddamn slim jimmy is robin and and he just like maybe he just want to be the man now maybe the nigga just want to step up to the plate and say you know what fuck that like i'm just as good as my brother if not better you know what i'm saying which i don't believe but you know hopefully the situation can work itself out um you know it's just crazy how the year just started and we're starting off the year with you know race Schremer breaking up you know these guys have so many hit songs together um i just be personally i think there's too much money on the line for them to break up like i just don't I, especially for slim jimmy because i'm gonna be honest right if if slim jimmy is serious because he could be trolling like maybe this is just promotion for like a new upcoming ray schremer album or maybe they're putting out like a little ep and they just want to trick the fans but let's be honest right and i'm gonna end the video off with this right if slim jimmy is serious about not being a part of ray schremer anymore we're not gonna hear from him like like he's not he's not ever gonna be as big as he was with the group and i'm gonna tell you why Nobody's even used to listening to a Slim Jimmy song with just him. We're used to always seeing him with his brother. His brother already has hit songs without him. And even on the hit songs with his brother, Sway Lee always outshines Slim Jimmy. So if Slim Jimmy is serious, bro, and you're really a solo artist now and you're no longer a part of Ray Schremer, I think you made a big mistake, bro. And... And this, this is really true by the end of the year, like we might not even, you might not even be relevant, bro, because there's just too many artists out right now that's more talented than Slim Jimmy. Um, you know, lyrically, uh, you know, just even as far as diversity, like we're at the point where the rap game is like, if you can't sing and rap and harmonize, then you're, you're not really that special. Like, you know, there's a select few artists out there like, you know, Meek Mill, um, you know, ASAP Rocky, uh, you know, who else, who else, um, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Big Sean, there's a select few artists out there that don't have to harmonize and sing and rap at the same time, where they're just rapping like bar for bar, and that's because they're really good at rapping, so if you're just gonna be like a regular like trap rapper, just rapping about drinking lean and fucking bitches and going to the club, you're gonna fall off, bro, because there's a lot of artists out there like Lil Baby, Gunna, Young Thug that's way better at doing that than Slim Jimmy is. And with that being said, click that subscribe button. Uh, click one of the donation links in the box. 
I'm trying to get a four for four from Wendy's. Just all of y'all, four niggas in the comment section. Send your boy a dollar to that cash app. Let me know what y'all think about the video. You know, do you guys think that this is a bad decision for Slim Jimmy? Or is this like a good decision? Because you never know. Maybe Slim Jimmy just wants to show niggas like he really that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm out. Skirt!